Hey, real quick, you said, you made a statement. You said that the Bible, when, what, what happened with the Bible? When the Bible get over here? The Bible was dated in 18. 18. What, what, what year was this Bible right here? Bring it out. What year? It's what year? 1611. This is 16. You said 18. 18. You didn't say nothing about no 1611. Because it went from Israelite to Christian. No, no, no. So your first statement is, your first statement is, no, this ain't Christianity. This ain't Christianity at all. By any means necessary. King James Bird. Nope. What does that mean? King James Bird. What that means? It's not the Old Testament. It's the New Testament. All of it's the Old Testament. The New Testament is the Old Testament. The New Testament is 2 and verse 7 again. Everything is it predates us in existence today. So it's all considered old. Right. So you can get on with that. And all the prophets in Christ before the New Testament prophesied from the Old Testament. Yes, right. Your first statement yes, when you messed up at when you said Adam was a white man. We're gonna prove that wrong. Read what you got. Ground. There is no way that you can form a white man from the damn dust of the ground. Oh, the right. people you dig, the darker the dirt becomes. Oh, that's, right. that's your first no, incorrect you answer. Right. That's the you're right. Hey, that's your first you're mess right, up. Though, All right, so go so ahead. What you got? You right about that, uh -huh. bro. But at the same time, the white man can take this shit and manipulate it to complete. He didn't. You know what? You, you yes, want me to show you how he did? Yes, sir, he you did. want me to show you how he did? Manipulation, because bro. all of you the most important people life, that in this Bible that this book speaks of is it talking about melanated right. people. Right. Give me, give me um, the most right. important man that walked the face of the earth. Since you said it's a white man book, the one thing about the white man, he ain't gonna let no Negroes see no type of super superficial activity going on. No people that's performing yeah. miracles or nobody a in society that's gonna be predominant ruling the nation. Christ ruled the nation. What you mean what, what nation? What you said? What miracles? You said what miracles? What miracles, what miracles? What miracles has that Bible done for you? You look, look, how many brothers you see up here? These are the damn miracles right before you. Jerusalem. Is he telling you he black? 
Solomon was one of the wisest men that walked the face of the earth. He was wealthier than anybody that touched earth. So all people don't understand. You coming down here arguing about damn oranges, you need to be changing your mind and get your, your community back in order. The damn community is in shambles. Tell me why we coming out here. We coming out here to the worst stages of this society in every hood, every ghetto, where all people are because they need the people to come to them. That's right. First Macabees 4. Read what you got. First Macabees 4. 343. The Bible commands us to come out here. Wow. You got people that ain't got resources. Right. How, how they gonna get to us? Right. And gas damn near five dollars a gallon. Teach us, bro. We gotta do. We gotta think better. Read what you got. First Maccabees chapter three and verse forty-three. Yeah. So the brother earlier he said, "Why are we coming out here forcing this on her? Did we force you up here? No. Did you got shackles on your feet? No. Did, did we say, hey, bro, you gotta talk to us? No. We telling you, look, we'll put you up on game with the Bible. Say, we'll give you the understanding of the book or whatever. But only if you come and desire that wisdom. Read what you got. They said one to another. This is what we said a long time ago, seven years ago, five years ago, three years ago. Brothers that been in this true labor for all nations. Read. Yeah, Let right. us restore the decayed estate. Ain't Orange Mound is in a decayed estate? Yeah, that right. Negro across the street, his mind is decayed. That's, That's the reason right. why we can't wait for him to come to us. We'll be waiting all our damn lives. Read what you got. Let us restore the decayed estate uh -huh. of our people. We come out here in Orange Mound to restore the decayed estate. That's look at right. the, look at look how we live. We got trash everywhere amongst us. That right? We got we got roofs that need to be repaired. Right. You go to Germantown, you don't see nothing like this. That right? That's the reason why. Give me Zephaniah 2 and verse 1. Yeah. That's the reason why we gotta come out here. Because we see all people in a docile state. We see our brothers that's trying to do better. But guess what? We need to come together in order for us to be on one accord. And mindset first. Read what you got. Zephaniah chapter 2 and verse 1. Uh -huh. Gather yourselves together. Uh -huh. Yay, gather together. So we come out here so we can tell our people we need to gather together. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. Everybody gathering together except us. The white man, they don't want a court. They gathering together. Yes, right. The East Indians, they in all stores in every hood throughout America. Right, play. They on one accord with, guess what? Buying these stores and sell it, selling to us on the Sabbath day, keeping us in sin while they taking their resources back to their country. Right. We got to gather together. We can't even gather together in mind. Talking about physically, we ain't even gather together spiritually. Right. We can't even have a decent conversation. Right. Read what you got. Yay, gather together. Oh, nation not desired. What nation in this earth is not desired? What nation get um, laws passed on them because of the color of their skin? What nation have the Ku Klux Klan strategically made for them all because of the color of their skin? What nation had to drink from different water fountains? Black only water fountain, white only water fountain. Why is these things happening to us? You got a lot of people that got some wisdom and understanding of this world that they like to try to supersede God with. But God said his wisdom is infinite. It's above all wisdom that's on the face of the earth. But when are we going to stop playing games and come back to worshiping all God? Because we know it's a high being. Give me Ezekiel 20 verse 23. We know it's a high being. But we just won't keep the laws of the high being. Right. We tried everything. We tried voting. We tried marching. Right. We tried all these different avenues. Right. And they are not working for us. Right. When are we going to try the avenue of God? Read what you got. Ezekiel chapter 20 and verse 23. Right. I lifted up mine hand unto them also in the wilderness. Because our forefathers in the wilderness when Moses got them out of the um, Egyptian captivity. Read. Right. That I would scatter them among the heathen. And now we are scattered amongst the heathen. Right. And guess what? In America, this place you call America, read. And disperse them through the country. And we are dispersed throughout all the countries on the face of the earth right. because of our disobedience. Right. Read what you got. Because they have not executed. 
executed my judgment because what? They had not executed my judgment because what? They had not executed my judgment. All you so-called blacks, Hispanic, and Native Americans got to do is execute your God judgments. So everybody that's not executing God's judgment, you are the main target for us being in the current conditions that we in. Right. Right. Talking about some dang gone oranges. Come on, bruh. How you gonna change the man mind, huh? So this was the orange plantation. So, and, and so we're looking it up, and it, it, it indeed was an orange plantation. Yeah, bro. Hey, bro, look it up. We just looked it up. It is, and it was an orange plantation. Bro. Yes, bro. Yeah, bro. It was an orange plantation. We just looked it up for you. Read what you got. But had despised my statue. So that's what our problem is. We despise God's statues. We despise, hey, we can't hear you all the way over there. Come over here and deal like a man. Talk, while you talk, I'll be quiet. And when I talk, I'm gonna need you to be quiet. We can have a peaceful disagreement. That's right. But you talking across, you talking all the way across the road, I can't hear you. That right? So we ain't gonna be able to have no disagreement or no agreement. Read what you got. But, had despised my statue. I will do this. If you can prove that this Bible is indeed not our book, and that this book isn't true, I'll give you a hundred dollars. I'll give you a hundred dollars. Yes, your zero to my one hundred dollars. Prove that this book ain't about us, and prove that this book isn't a true book. Where your hundred dollars at? Because I, I can give you a hundred dollars. I'm giving out free money. You running for free money. That's what I'm talking about, man. Give me Isaiah 40, 41, verse 22. Bring it out! That's a, all people, all they like, they full of hot air. And these are the same people that's gonna celebrate 4th of July. That celebrated 4th of July. That's right. That celebrate, talking about this a white man book. But you celebrate all the white man um, um, holidays, or well, hot, uh, holidays according to society. Bring it out! Come on, you gotta, man, y'all gotta think. You up here arguing about us, about Thomas, this is the white man book, and we can prove that this ain't the white man. If this is a damn white man book, I won't be nowhere near. Right. Bring it up. That's right. What I look like read and giving information out of a book that the white man gave us when he didn't destroy us and put us in the same ghettos that we coming to. Right. Read what you got. Isaiah chapter 41 and verse 22. Uh -huh. Let them bring forth, I mean, let them bring them forth and show us what shall happen. Show us what's going to happen. What the hell going on where they covering up? They they got Trump. What Trump did on July the 5th of last year when the racist on White House. Why is there so much in the news media? Because they trying to cover up a damn famine. That's right. Prove to us that it ain't going to be no famine. Bring forth your strong reason. All people be talking about everything that don't affect us as a nation being productive. Right. Read on. Let them show the former things what they be. Show us the former things. Show us how us as a nation of people, how we got over here, how we was transported. Right. What happened to us when we got over here? Because we can give you all that history. Read on. That we may consider them and know the letter end of them. So that we may consider your ways since you so right, since you all wisdom and all knowing. Show us your way so we can begin to follow you. All people ain't got no answers. They ain't, this is, these are the only answers in the earth today. There's no other answers than this book that we're right. reading from. Right. Read what you got. Or declare us things for to come. And declare us what's going to happen in 2023, 2024. Because I can go to the scripture and show you. Give me that in Luke 21 and 11. Yeah. I'm going to show you what's going to happen in these upcoming years. That all people are in a dull south mind state to the point where they ain't even giving thought about this this particular subject right here. This subject ain't on our people's mind. They go by their everyday living real comfortable. Um, they, 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 they glorify America and trust in American society right. and their system and they ain't even giving thought about what's to come. That's right. What's going to completely take them out of here. You're going to have a slow, long, and agonizing death that's coming up on you. Luke right. chapter 21 and verse 11. Uh -huh. And great earth uh -huh. shall be in diverse places. And we've seen that. 
We've seen great, you can Google how earthquakes has been put in divers places by the Most High God. These are his judgments for us breaking his laws. Everything is out of course because you so-called Blacks, Hispanic, Native Americans don't want to execute God's judgments. Right. Read. And famines. And what? Famines. Who is prepared for a famine? I guarantee you over 80% of Orange Mound isn't pre properly prepared for a famine. Right. Who's talking about the subject of famine? Hey, what are we going to do if a famine strike out? Ain't nobody giving thought to this subject. But, oh, oh I forgot. Um, why, we, why, why shouldn't we wait on y'all come to us? No, we got to get out here and tell our people, look, start preparing. Because now that society has taken everything up, guess what? Everything costs a lot and it's gonna go up even further. And now the next thing is, it's gonna be scarce on different type of food products. Ain't nobody in the hood talking about that. And if they is, they inside their houses. It ain't sprung, it ain't, it, the word ain't being spread in abroad throughout each community. Read on. And pestilence. And pestilence. We done saw COVID-19. And how it's running rapid throughout the earth. Now what we got, monkey pox. We had a while back the West Nile vibes, chicken pox, all of these different pestilence that God is sending on the earth to give the so-called Blacks, Hispanic, and Native American signs that is indeed the end times. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is 